Since I started this WNBA My Career series on the W, I've been complaining about my teammates. That's the only thing I've been doing every single episode because my teammates are really not that good. But recently I just played a few games and I found a player that's actually really, really good. She makes a good amount of her shots. She could drive to the basket. She finishes. Tiffany Hayes has been balling out for our squad. And we've been getting, well, not we, I've been getting some help. But we still took L's in all those games that I played. And I managed to level up to level seven. So I'm um, three more levels away from maxing out at level 10. And look at my upgraded attributes. My shooting is up there now. Mid range is at 85, three point shot is at 87, free throw is at 83. That's what I want to see. So my stats are continuing to get better, and our team chemistry is continuing to get better. We're starting to really, really find our groove as a team, especially with Tiffany Hayes playing well. And on my off day, after I just took another L, I decided to do a podcast with my girl Shanae Agumake, if I pronounce that right. Y'all be seeing her on ESPN. Homegirl is doing her thing, so I had to hop on her podcast real quick. But in addition to the podcast, I just realized that I got a few endorsements. I don't think this was the case on NBA 2K21 that you were able to get endorsements. So this is actually a pretty big deal for the W game mode and is a huge W. But this endorsement is not a huge W. In fact, this is very insulting. Why, out of all the endorsements I could get, I got one for a plumbing company. Let that sink in, bro. That is really, really insulting for the future goal of the WNBA. My second endorsement really isn't that bad, Zed Protein Bars. I don't mind that, but the plumbing one, really, really 2K. Y'all couldn't come up with anything better than that. But my Zed Protein Bars endorsement is actually pretty lit happy about this one i think i see the z protein bars on my career if i'm not mistaken and then for my last endorsement weaver's traffic school i guess is a really simple endorsement slash billboard saying i'm a believer that you could pass traffic school i guess these are some weak endorsements 2k i gotta step y'all game up because in my career the endorsements be busting bro the endorsements are really lit, but here on the W is not that good. Anyways, moving on to our badge upgrades. I didn't realize I had six badge points available for finishing, but I upgraded Fearless Finisher, Giant Slayer. I really needed Unstrippable because every time I went to the basket, I kept on getting stripped. I really, really, really hated that. So I had to upgrade that to a silver. And last but not least, Acrobat. Had to get that at a bronze. But I mainly focus on Fearless Finisher, my first gold badge, primarily because when I'm driving to the basket, I miss a lot of layups, and I don't feel like that should be the case, especially if we can't dunk. I definitely got to be making my layups. Moving on to the playmaking badges, I upgraded my handles. So tight handles, had to upgrade that. And handle for days, had to upgrade that as well. Because like I said, when I'm driving to the basket, I can be getting stripped as often as I do. I really, really cannot have that happen because I need to be able to get to the basket and getting stripped is not in my plans. Anyways, moving on to defensive slash rebounding badges, of course it stayed the same, but I had one shooting badge. I thought I would have had a bit more because I've been taking a lot of jump shots recently. In all honesty, I'm upgrading said shooter because whenever I catch the ball and I just catch and shoot, it always goes in. It's like a perfect release every single time. But now it's time for a true challenge. I want to face off against the Las Vegas Aces, one of the best teams in the WNBA. I faced off against the Liberty and Seattle Storm, and I ended up winning three games in a row when I simulated those three games. So I never simulated games before in the W, and we took Ws each time that we simmed. That's crazy, 20 points for me in that game against the New York Liberty. Then we faced them again, and I scored 22 points, four or five from downtown. Tiffany Hayes doing her thing. That's what I wanna see. And then against Seattle, Brianna Stewart, of course, low-key to go doing her thing. But I dropped 18 points. They make any three-pointers, but we still got the dub. That's all that really matters. At this stage, the only thing I really care about is getting those dubs. So now it's time to take a look at the standings. And the Las Vegas Aces are 8-0 at home. 
16 and 1 for the WNBA season, and they won 15 games in a row. Needless to say, we are going to have our handful with this team, but it might not be so bad because they're dealing with a few injuries. They got three players out, including Asia Wilson who's one of the best players on their squad. She's dealing with a day-to-day injury, so not having to deal with her. Maybe we could end that 15-game winning streak. But Tiffany Hayes, somehow, someway, she has a day-to-day injury. So now it's kind of an even playing field. One of our best players are out, and one of their best players are out. But I have to win this game. I have to end their 15-game winning streak. I have to end them being undefeated at home. And I gotta do it without Tiffany Hayes. Atlanta Dreams, Las Vegas Aces. This is gonna be a fun one. But I'm ready to ball out. Let's go! The offense is gonna have to go through me. Cause I don't know who else is gonna score. Can we win the tip? That we do! Alright, this is a huge game against the Las Vegas Aces. Off the pick and roll, inside to Monique Billings. She got it! Gray pulls up, got it. Chelsea, Gray getting it to go. We still got a two-point lead. Let's see what we got on this possession. The ball's gonna be in my hands like this entire game. They gonna have to play through me because I can't trust my team. I honestly don't. Well, maybe if they get off to a good start and keep scoring. Here's Williams, contested shot. On the drive, there's your girl Skylar Brooks. Let's get it. First bucket of the game for me. We got a two point lead. This is surprising. Normally we're down by like 10 points as soon as the game starts. Let's see what they got in this possession. They're playing pretty decent to start the game. I don't know why they're not going to Liz Cambage. They cannot get that shot to go. Oh, I'm wide open. I'm wide open. Set shooter. Let's get it. Perfect release. Now watch the shot clock. It's winding down. I'm going to force it up, and I got it. I am off to an amazing start to start this game. Three of five from the field. Brooks versus Las Vegas. They already know, bro. Let's get it. I'm putting the team on my back. Oh, what was that? Oh, offensive foul. That's a bad foul, but we forced a turnover. Y'all see my takeover meter about to fill up, right? Let's see if I can score in this possession. Oh, I'm wide open. Ah, oh, man, I should have took the three, but I got the defender up in the air. Found it. Ah. Skylar Brooks cannot be stopped in the first quarter. Perfect release on the free throw. Playing her for the drive, and she pulls up. Cannot get it to go. Right here. Skylar Brooks is feeling it. I'm on fire. Driving. Oh, yeah, I'm putting that up. I get fall in one again. Kelsey Plum cannot guard me, bro. Skylar Brooks versus Las Vegas. And I knocked out the free throw again. So let him get that. Wow, of course. But look at this lead. We are destroying a team that won 15 games in a row to start the game because of me. 13 points in the first quarter. Make that 15 beasting on the Hall of Fame. This is the part that makes me nervous. Every time I sub into the game, we're down. So I simulate, end of the second quarter, and we're down by four. What happened while I was on the bench? Are you kidding me? While I was on the bench, we fall down. Yo, what was that? Oh, there we go. I get the offensive rebound and the putback. I'm doing everything for this team. Should I bring that help? Helping. They cannot get it to go. Down by two points. Let's see what we got in this possession. I'm trying to remain calm. Come on, my teammates got to do something. They're going to have to hold it down when I'm on the bench. Because they do a horrible job at doing that. Oh, yeah. Paint wide open. Give me those two points. Let's keep it going. Off the pick in. Oh, she pops the three. Cannot get it to go. They just hit a three-point on the last possession. Surprised they didn't make that one. These BS three-pointers. Oh, she can't guard me. Oh, come on. She can't guard me. She cannot guard me, bro. Tight handles. Activated. She cannot guard me. Stepping back. Driving. Puts it up. Got it. That should have been. Magatri on the drive. Get that weak stuff out of here. Let's end the second quarter with a bang. 
Off the pick and roll. Getting it inside to the pre. Thank you. Shot clock almost there. That's a layup. That's. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That was my bad. My hand swiped over the touchpad on my PlayStation 5 controller when I meant to press the square button. That's a bad timeout. They right. Off the inbound. I'm wide open. For three at the buzzer. <laughs> Running that pick and roll with Cam Beige. They should be going to her a lot more often than they do. They get the con Oh, wait. That was an offensive foul. Let's get it. I'll take it. I thought they would have got the continuation. They normally do. But I am on fire once again. Got my takeover going. We got a five-point lead. Your girl Skylar Brooks doing it all right now. Driving. Oh, I'm going to put this up. That should have been an N1. I really hope they don't take me out for the rest of the third quarter. I don't trust my team that much. And, oh, my team holding it down. My team held it down while your girl was on the bench. Now five seconds separating the shot End of the third quarter. I got 34 points. My career high is 35. Let's see if I could pass that. I should be able to. I got a whole nother quarter left, bro. I'm dropping at least 50. Oh, they're bringing the double team. I see the double team coming. Sims open for three. Oh, yeah, this is another easy layup. I did not mean to do that. I didn't mean to pull up. I meant to take a layup. Like, why would she pull up? Anyways, we are blowing out the Las Vegas Aces. I feel it's safe to say that we're going to end their winning streak. I'm opening the corner for three. Bang! <laughs> Please put me back in the game. I want to get 50. Okay, that's not too bad. Two minutes remaining to get 50. I'm up to 39 points right now. I'm trying to get to 50. I'm trying to break the WNBA record. I think the WNBA record is... Oh, yeah, it's 53 points by Liz Cambage. I remember that game a few years back. Oh, let's go. Let's see if we can score in this possession. Or let's see if I can score in this possession. Now Pass it to me. Ah, oh, forget it. Right on her. Oh, I'm right here. I'm open. Perfect release on the three. Let's go. Y'all hear my voice cracking? Skylar Brooks cannot be stopped. She won't be stopped. Great for three. Won't go. Pass it up to me again. I want to pop the three, but I got the defender up in the air. Drive in another one. I'm close to 50. I should really let them score the rest of the game. She can have that. It's cool. All right, so right now I'm at 44 points, 19 made field goals. That's what I want to see. Let's see if I can get a quick bucket, quick two points. I'm going to keep driving to the basket because they're not playing no inside defense. Let's go. 46. Yo, they are wilding. Liz Cambage really don't want me to beat her record. To the basket. That's a foul. I don't want to say that they're trying to run Skylar Brooks but, uh, cannot be stopped. 48 points in a WNBA game. The record is 53. I'm going to just let her score. Go ahead. I don't care. Throw it in. Throw it in. Hurry up. I only got a few seconds. At least I need to get 50. If I can't get 50, I'm really going to cry. Like, I'm legit going to cry. Send me that pick and roll. Run in the pick and roll. It's easy. Cam beige. No. Kick it out. Right here. I'm open. I'm open. Ah, oh, come on. I thought she had the, the offensive rebound the second time. Can they hurry up and score? Take that three. Thank you. They can hit it. I don't care. I need to get 50. I got a few seconds remaining. Right here. Right here. Let's see if I can get to 50. Oh, yeah. I'm driving. Oh, I pulled up. I should have just drove to the basket, but I ran out of time anyways. I'm so disappointed. Like, I only had 48, 48 points, and I can't even get an A-plus teammate grade. Like, come on. But I'm still at a 7 with progression. I thought I would have skyrocketed up to, like, at least an 8. But my badge is going crazy, though. So I'll take that. When I get the chance to suggest free agency targets, trade targets, Liz Cambage is number one on my list. That's my favorite WNBA player, her and Benajah Laney. I got to see if I could get those two on my team. I would love that, bro. But anyways, your girl Skylar Brooks cannot be stopped. I will not be stopped. 48 points, four rebounds, six assists, only two turnovers. 
let's go. I was doing it, though. I was grabbing offensive rebounds, getting putbacks, getting it all the way to the basket, knocking down threes. I was doing it all. So disappointed that I could not get the record. So on July 4th, 2021, here on 2K, here on the W, Skylar Brooks dropped 48 points, the third best scoring game in WNBA history. Number one is Liz Cambage, second is Miss Williams. But although I didn't break the record, finishing third place for most points scored in a WNBA game, I did have the most field goals made in a WNBA game with 21 made field goals. So nonetheless, your girl Skylar Brooks in her rookie season is making WNBA history.